Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to use Proton's Lumo AI chatbot. Proton, a company known for Proton Mail and its VPN software is in the AI chatbot game. Now one of the things about this Swiss company that many of you should know about is that Proton with Proton Mail and with its VPN software is all about personal security. Proton Mail has been around for years and is one of one of the web-based email options that you can actually use, set up an account, and send encrypted email out at no or little charge. Now with them entering the AI space, especially in a world where security and privacy is important, Proton's Lumo offers an AI chatbot that is safe and secure and doesn't use any of your information to bring up prompts. Now, before we go further, if you want to continue to like videos or see videos like this, be sure to comment, like this video and share with your friends so that they can get more out of the technology they use at home and at work. So let's go on and take a look at Lumo and understand how this new chatbot works, which to be honest, if you used one chatbot, you kind of have used them all. So let's go and take a look at Lumo. So there's Lumo, it's got a cute, uh, cute little logo. Hey, I'm Lumo, ask me anything, it's confidential. Now the website to get the Lumo, because you have to be careful of all the bogus AI chatbots out there, is lumo.proton.me. And you can see it up in the browser window. Now the layout of Lumo is just like any other chatbot. You've got your ask anything option. Uh, you have the option to upload photos and um, stuff from your Proton drive. You also have the option to do a web search with Proton, but it's not mandatory. Now, one of the things that you've noticed that I, or you may have noticed that I've done with Lumo is that I've set up a free Lumo account. If we go up to the upper right-hand corner here, you can see my initials BK. There's my Google account, and I have set up a free account. But you can also go in with Lumo at the website and just utilize the chatbot without setting up an account for free. Now keep in mind, if you set up a free account with Lumo, you only get a limited amount of AI chats with the free service. Like many uh, chatbot services like Claude and Jasper, you sometimes have to pay a monthly fee in order to get full function of the AI chatbot. Now, let's take a look at some other things with Lumo so that you can get an idea of how it works. One of the things that you can do with Lumo is you can set up your favorites. So if you've got a AI prompt that you want to save as a favorite, uh, you can star it and it'll make it a favorite prompt. Now, as far as chat history is concerned, we haven't set up a chat history yet because I just set up an account with Lumo, but your chat history will line up here. Other things that you can see with Lumo is if you go to settings. If you go to settings, Lumo again gives you the option to upgrade or you can manage your plan or you can manage your account. But also you can go to general, which allows you to delete all your chats, which means that if you want to keep your chat safe and secure, you can go in and delete all of your chats once you put it up there. And of course you can see about Lumo and its latest update, which was done Monday, July, or the 21st of July. So it updates itself on a regular basis. Now, what should we do next? Well, I'm thinking that we should play a little bit around with Lumo so that you can get an understanding uh, about Lumo. But before we do that and play with prompts, let's look at something else that Lumo uh, brags about. So one of the things you can look at with Lumo says it's private. Under, unlike other assistants, 
it doesn't record our conversations, which is great. Um, Safeguard it, which means not even the folks at Proton can access your chat history. And finally, conversations are never treated or used for training. So again, if you want to get into the AI game and keep your information safe and secure, Lumo would be a good place to play around in the AI spot and not have to worry about your conversations being used uh, to train the AI chatbot. So we can close that out. So today, how can I help you out? Let's get started with prompts. And I guess we can go with our prompting rule, which is the same with any other chatbot out there. So again, when you are using AI prompts, you want to talk to it like a human. So you go, hey, uh, how can I help you today? Hey, how are you? The next question is, um, can you, uh, let's say, I am getting the blue screen of death on my Windows 11, need to spell that right, computer, if I can type 11 right, what tips can I use to solve this problem? Now, one of the things that I didn't do on this was to tell it to ask as an IT expert. So let's go back to Lumo and say, I need, there you go, you to act as my IT expert. Put an exclamation point because I am having some problems. So when you do your Lumo search, you, again, I could have uploaded a script and I could just tell it to do its thing. So I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna come back to this prompt and we're gonna go ahead and send a message and see what Lumo does. So here it is with the blue screen of death. Um, and then there are some, as you can see, there's some information I could copy this like I would in any other chat bot. Uh, also, I can regenerate this message. But one of the things that I want to do, well, I'll turn that off, but I will ask it, can you search the internet? And it's like, there we go, for an answer. So let's see what we get. Sure, to get more accurate information, please enable the web search feature. Once enabled, I can look up the information. So web search is down here. And then I'll just say, can you give me more trouble shooting steps? Hit our request there. Lumo is thinking, little cute chat bot that it is. And internet search obviously is going to take a little bit longer so there you go uh it kind of gives you an example just like any other chat bot if you are going to use lumo as your ai assistant you can definitely do it now some of the things that i've noticed with lumo that you don't get with other chat bots is that it seems like it's a little bit slower as far as getting information but you can definitely give it a thumbs up or thumbs down as far as the feedback for the answers like you would with any chat bot also, you can go and look at your chat history, but then if I click on this, I can add it to favorites and once, and that's one of the things that's a challenge with a lot of AI chatbots out there is once you start the process of creating a chat or a prompt history, you have so many prompts that it's hard to go through and rehash some of those prompts. So there are very few chatbots out there that give you the option to utilize favorites where you can save your favorite prompts into an area where you can quickly go back and continue the conversation. Also, uh, your chat history, you know, once you start building that up, then it becomes harder to keep track of all of those chats that you have. Now, one of the things that are, let's talk about what Lumo can't do. It can act like your regular chat bot, but also there are some limitations as far as what Lumo can do. I know I'm like looking all over the place, but 
Lumo does not allow you to do images like you could with ChatGPT, Google Gemini, or Copilot. Uh, it's limited as far as doing videos as well. So don't think that this is going to take the place of your um, standard chatbot. Again, the focus with Lumo is to be a privacy chatbot to make sure that if you want to be able to utilize a chatbot without having the prying eyes of big data look in on you, this is a chatbot you can use. But some of the other things that you can definitely do with Lumo is that you can, if you have questions like I asked it, you can have it answer questions for you. Also, if you need to do text summarization, you can upload text and it'll summarize text. You can have it draft emails. It even allows you, if you're a coder, which most of this audience isn't, will do okay with coding. You can translate text from different languages. Um, you can also search the web, which I've shown you before, and you can <laughs> provide tech support like I did. So, and finally, one of the things that Lumo allows you to do, like most chatbots, is that you can upload anything uh, for to analyze, like from your device, or you can add it from your Proton Drive. So if you upload it from your device, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can only upload it from your Proton Drive. If you have a OneDrive account or a Dropbox and it's integrated into your Windows or Macintosh computer, you can upload files from that device as well. So with that said, Take a quick look at Lumo if you're looking for AI options to uh, use that are safe and secure and encrypted. Uh, also, one of the things I want to remind you with Lumo, they do make an app available for both Android and iPhone devices, but at least on the desktop version of Lumo, I need to say that again because I like holding these phones up, for both Android and iPhone devices because I have both, but also one of the things that is not present on at least the desktop version is the ability to utilize your voice to have a conversation with Lumo. But as we move forward, hopefully Lumo will be around for a little bit as a chat bot and you will have that ability to use your voice on the desktop. So if you have any comments or questions about Lumo, the chat bot from Proton, leave them in the comment section. We'd love to help you out, navigate a secure chatbot that will allow you to utilize AI without it prying in on your sensitive information. So my goal with every video is to always open you up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences utilizing your technology. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.